buffoon, but this really takes the prize. Speaking of taking the prize, as you lie here, slowly dying, feel free to torment yourself with the knowledge that I will shortly have the secret. And then, the fairy lane as well. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that, but no matter. Your last words will be forgotten, along with you. Soon, not even the stench of your passing will remain, as the world moves impeccably onward. Captain LeChuck, it's Captain Madison, sir. She and the others have just set sail. They're leaving the island. Leaving? They must know where the secret is. If we hurry, we can catch them at sea and persuade them to share. <laughs> I think my pancreas is broken. Possibly also my spleen and my gallbladder. Whatever that is. Hello? Is someone here? Guybrush! Oh no! Are you okay? Yes. Depends on your definition of okay. Let's start with likely to survive the next two minutes. Uh, I suppose I can manage that if I have to. Oh, I'm afraid I insist. What are you doing here? Did you come to rescue me? How did you even get to Monkey Island? I guess you made the potion? You used a potion to get here. It's so cute. But let's not get sidetracked. You've fallen off a cliff. So you don't even need the pot here now. <laughs> Get Monkey Island. Uh, this whole voyage has been a disaster. Nothing but humiliation, physical danger, and humiliating physical danger. I keep losing sword fights. I got thrown off a ship and thrown off a cliff on the same day. I got caught in a snare trap meant for LeChuck. My own fault. I had a map. There was an X and a shovel. You didn't find that suspicious? No. Might as well just lie here and starve to death. I've got a better idea. Come back with me to Scurvy Island. I'll take a break from the Scurvy Project to nurse you back to health. What difference does it make? Well, it makes a difference to me, if nothing else. Come on, let's go. Uh, if you want. Well, don't act too excited now. Yeah, why not? I'll never get the secret now that the map is gone. Did somebody say map? Hello? Murray! Is that the map to the secret? That melon head put me in his pocket with it. I grabbed it for leverage. Holy cow! The secret is at the voodoo shop on Melee Island! Change of plan, Elaine. We're going back to Melee. We are? Well, what about all the things you just said? Well, I didn't have the map then. Where's your ship? It's actually your ship. Your old ship, I mean. The sea monkey is wrecked on a beach just east of here. Oh. I, know, I saw it. I got dropped off here so I could fix it up as a surprise for your birthday. What a great present. You always amaze me. I had no idea you knew ship repair. I don't know any more than you do, but I brought a manual. Why don't we fix it together? Oh, no. You can do the goopy parts. Race you to the ship! Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. I feel like we're entering a new phase in our relationship. I am trying to contain my joy. <laughs> I feel like we're entering... Come on, Murray. You've got our work cut out for us. I don't relish the idea of being with you, but I guess it beats spending the next hundred years on this stump. Maybe. 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 Not the pocket. I think we should be circle it this way. <laughs> this way. Rupert Tree Stump.
Slowpoke. You had a head start. Should we get started? Ready when you are. People repair ships all the time. How hard could it be? Inšat kai kai pras prepu il sims monday to sotra. Well, we did what we could with the materials at hand. I love it. It oozes nostalgia. Among other things, you steer, I'll bail. So god, silly game. Really, really well gets it the original silliness. <laughs> Huh. I would expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now. Oh my goodness, look at the damage! I've got to go and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake relief. You're not coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I'll want to hear all about it later. Right. Yeah. See you soon. I'm not leaving again without the secret of Monkey Island. Watch the ship for me. Uh, bite anyone who tries to steal it. You're fine. There aren't any scrap lumber dealers on Melee. Wanted. Any information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons who destroyed the historic mop tree. Who won't do that? What are you drinking? Soda with a twist of avocado. It might be a little fizzy for your grog palate. Oh, sounds exotic. Not done with my drink. That was refreshing. It's empty. Got me more of that fizzy stuff? Get lost. <laughs> Get lost. You saved the cookbook. Yes, I saved the cookbook. The ceiling was collapsing, the building was on fire, people running everywhere. And I saved the cookbook. Cool. You're welcome. <laughs> Can I have it back? It's only slightly singed. Carla might not even notice. Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. No, you can't take <laughs> it. My bar gone and no hope to repair it. This is all I have left. It's not you. It's mine. <laughs> Did you feel the earthquake? I was too busy running for my life. But the romantic. There was text romantic. Ooh, nice upgrade for eating al fresco. Okay. How come you're still here? The bar is half collapsed and slightly on fire. Get lost. Meanwhile, halfway to Melee, Melee Island. Give up now, old man. The secret will be ours. I've been searching for the secret since before you were born. That's exactly my point. Finding the secret is a young pirate's game. Years of experience and me relentless drive will ensure the secret be mine. Only if you don't have a heart attack first. Ha! Last chance to give it up. Then we obliterate you. Get off my ocean! Okay. <laughs> I'm impressed by your crosswind ramming technique. I'll have to add that to my book. My crew is quite skilled when given the right motivation. I'm still worried about Threepwood. 
He shows up in the most unexpected ways. We don't have to worry about Threepwood anymore. I left him broken and near death at the bottom of a cliff. His eye was pussing up and bone was protruding from his leg. Animals have probably already scattered his limbs from one end of the island to the other. So it's agreed. We stop fighting each other and we join forces to find the secret. Agreed. No funny stuff. We split the secret. Teammates. Okay. <laughs> They're going to betray each other. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine. The best ever someone to face Elaine's scurvy flyer. Oh no. Out of business. Not going to out of business. It's out of business. Freeze even better than half off. Half way better. <laughs> too late? Was LeChuck here? Did Madison come? Did they get it? Where's the secret? Yeah, I'll bet the secret of Monkey Island is in there. It just has to be. You've had it all this time. I possess little and much. To what are you referring? Don't play dumb with me, Karina. I have the map. The secret of Monkey Island is here. What is it you wish to know? Can't you read my mind? No need. I can read your face well enough. The secret is where you suspect it is. Inside the large safe near the front door. Where are the keys to the safe? I'd like to get it open as soon as possible. I am prevented from helping you with the keys. Uh, but there is one close by who knows much. How do I find him? Her. And she will find you. How do you know that? She is outside the shop. Why did you take the secret? Doesn't it belong on Monkey Island? I have taken nothing. The safe came to me as you see it and belongs to someone else. I accepted a fee and cast a spell upon it to prevent it being moved. That is all. Who owns the safe? Alas, there are forces which prevent me from revealing the true owner. A contract, signed in blood, with gruesome punishments for disclosure. Some kind of a voodoo thing? No. <laughs> it's agreement. How could you keep this a secret from me? You knew I was looking for it. It is not a secret from you, Guybrush Threepwood. It is a secret. Full stop. I am bound by an agreement. Have LeChuck or Captain Madison been here? No. That's weird. They were way ahead of me. Sometimes it's better to have two enemies than one. But you should not waste time. I might have more questions for you later. I might have answers, but I make no promises. What happened to your cauldron? I sold it to a soup shop on another island. They didn't mind the magic spell residue. <laughs> soup shop, okay. Uh, I hate to leave it here, but I can't take the safe with me, and I need to find keys to open it. I'd need a lot of keys to open that. I'd need a lot of keys to open that. That key doesn't go here. The scroll work is nice, but there are no numbers here. About there. The scroll work is nice, but there are no numbers. The scroll work is no numbers. Okay. You should be sure. No numbers. The scroll work is not. Ah! You found the secret. You are a spark among fallen leaves. Secret? What secret? I admit nothing. You can't hide that look in your eye. I know it well. I am Widerling Bones. Widey. Like you? 
the hunt for the secret consumes me. Like you, I know where the secret lies, but lack the means to open the safe. You must have many questions. How do I open the safe? Five locks, five keys. Golden keys, hidden long ago. What do the golden keys look like? Gold. It's just paint, but they look nice. Where can I find the golden keys? Most are found already. Got one myself. Old Mrs. Smith had one before she died, and Bella Fisher too. Also, I heard one was found on Bermuda. That's only four. One more was supposed to be hidden on Terror Island. That one has never been found. Hang on, I'm writing all this down on my to-do list. This doesn't sound so hard. A lot of people don't come back from Terror Island. Also, Bella Fisher sank out at sea and nobody knows where. Took her key with her. Oh. Can I borrow the key you have, just to try it out? Not so fast, <laughs> Whitey Bones is not such an easy mark. You prove yourself. Get some skin in the game. Find me when you've got more what kind of skin do, and maybe I talk partnership. Could you repeat what you said about who has all the keys? Oh, and Bella, someone, and the last. Thanks. Why is the secret in the safe instead of on Monkey Island? Do you know? Secrets always been in the safe. Uh huh. Could you repeat what you said about who has all the keys? Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong line. Last one. Thanks. How come I never heard about any of this before? I'm kind of a secret of Monkey Island buff. You'd think I'd know about it. The clues were buried deep and clever. Only a few ever puzzled them out. And we keep ourselves to ourselves. You seem more lucid than when you were hanging out of the window on High Street. We all got our good days and our bad ones. If you don't know already, then you'll see. This all seems needlessly complicated. Life is like that sometimes. Best just enjoy the ride. See you around, Whitey. I've got keys to track down. Okay, bright boy. But you watch your step. There is a curse. The keys are protected by a oh, no. curse. Beware. Whoa, a curse? Really? No. I mean, yes, she did say that, but she was just being dramatic. Whitey likes to make a big exit. Well, one thing's for sure. I don't know how to get to either of those islands she mentioned. I'd better get a good sea map right away. Well, the voodoo here must be authentic, culturally and historically accurate. Okay, I can't go so. to the island anymore. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Doing fine. Still in business. It looks expensive. And shiny. I like shiny. Hey, Wally. Have you got a sea map of the local area? Can you jot down the locations of Terror Island and Bermuda? No problem. I'll also add a few extras. The ship tracking feature is going to blow your mind. It's a little trick I know. <laughs> you need to be able to go the ship extra tracking. mile if you want to make it in the big time, like me. Be careful. The last pirates I made a map to Terror Island for were never seen again. And Bermuda can chill you to the bone. Not many pirates want to head up there. Oh, and when you get to Scurvy Island, say hi to Elaine for me. Thanks, Wally. And sorry about blowing you up that one time. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Wally. What was the deal with all the crazy maps on Monkey Island? I made the map to the secret, and a darn good one, I might add. But what other people do with it after purchase is not my legal responsibility. Why didn't you tell me the map said the secret was right across the street? That would have saved me a lot of time. Sorry, but I was all NDA'd up on that one. Busy? Yep. 
Hey, Wally, what's in these boxes? Maps. Somewhat understated. Hi. Bright boy. How was your search? You spend a lot of time looking out your window. I'll watch the locksmith. Maybe somebody comes with a golden key someday, you know? Anything is possible. I'll keep an eye on the fish shop, too. There is a mystery here. A lot of fish, but no boat. Did you mean what you said about a curse? You still gonna look for the keys if it's true? Of course. Then it does not matter. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. No, it's all I was here. Okay. It seems to be stuck closed. Herman Tutrot. First operate in Oops, eh? no. Which following cannot be poked in Scurvy Dog Sack? Steam Venies. Which of these people were not a swallower by Kian Manete? Um, it's a fish shop. Welcome to the God's Wallop. Thanks. We feature the freshest fish on the block, and the freshest company as well. Whether you're here to buy or just pass the time, we don't mind. Though, of course, we do prefer it if you make a purchase. Didn't you guys used to be the pirate leaders? It's me, Gabber Streetwood. Ah, I thought when we spotted him skulking around town that he looked passing familiar. The shop seems nice. If by nice, you mean a glorious cathedral to the fine art of fishing, then I quite agree. Have a look around, why don't you? What are these little yellow guys? They're lump suckers. Easy to eat and great for sucking out cysts and boils. Okay. I know fish can't blink, and I want to keep on knowing that. <laughs> I know fish can't blink, and I want to keep on knowing that. Still they pink. <laughs> These are tremendous. What are they? We don't actually know. Found them at the bottom of the shipment. What are those fish up there called? Floaters. Best not to ask why. That's an amazing trophy you have there. Aye, that's a combination trophy and fly swatter. In case we ever get an insect infestation. Okay. Nice shark. Don't let the size fool ya. The coral fire shark is the most dangerous shark of all. That one took down 17 good sailors and three dinghies before we even reeled them in. Okay. Nice crab. Fought him for 11 hours. Sorely wanted to eat him. <laughs> but it weren't crab season at the time. Crab season. He's a handsome devil. First fish I ever caught. Couldn't bear to eat it. Of course, I was only a lad of three at the time. Flounders sure are funny-looking fish. You say that now, but wait till you're alone and sinking in a fierce northern squall, battling to land the beastie in time to use him to patch the hole in your boat. <laughs> That's an interesting mounting method. Caught that one trying to escape. It's still alive. <laughs> Excellent, Marlin. Aye, that ain't real. It's a promotional item from a local yak butter fella. But it looks nice enough. It's a copy of At the End of the Plank. Oh, aye, a gift from a good friend. I haven't actually read it myself yet. 
What are these blobby guys? Toadfish. Surprisingly, no relation to actual toads. <laughs> toadfish. Oh, you mean uh, like Super Mario toads? <laughs> so she's a pet. She's not for sale at any price. What are these pointy ones? Slime heads. Some folks like to cut off the pointy parts before eating, but that's a personal choice. Are these eels? Hagfish. Very tasty, but don't let them get around your neck. They have hagfish, toadfish, slime head, bloater, and lump sucker. I'd like to buy some fish. That's an excellent life decision, me lad. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slime head, bloater, and lump sucker. What'll it be? Never mind. Well, you guys fish. Have you ever heard of someone called Bella Fisher? Bella Fisher. Aye, she could spin a yarn from Port Royal to Trinidad and back again. And a consummate angler she was. W what? Good at fishing. She had a secret fishing spot she did. More bounteous than the whole rest of the sea together. She probably rests there now, being as she did disappear on a fishing trip. No one knows the location, though it is rumored that she left clues as to its whereabouts. Okay. Did Bella Fisher ever show you a big fancy key? Not to my memory. No, I don't think so. Just thought I'd check. Did you guys feel the earthquake? That we did. At first, I thought it were just me stomach mm. complaining about me breakfast. Aye, we all thought that. I'm hunting for the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? What a prize. I know. They say... Told everyone on Melee Island that they are looking for a secret. Never be sunk. That the wind always fills his sails. Mm. In the old days, we might have gone after it ourselves. But we've got new fish to fry, so to speak. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. What do you feed her? Feed her. What do you feed her? Feed her. Decrypted mop. What's that flag with all the holes in it? Quite proud of that. We caught it up in a fishing net one day. Tis one of the signature flags of Bella Fisher herself. Bella Fisher? That was Bella Fisher's flag? That's what I said, yes. Is the flag for sale? Bite your tongue. That's property of the chums. Shh. With the who? No one. It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. The Chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about fish. Can I join the Chums? Well... Please? Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah. One time, I was swallowed by a manatee. No one knows what a manatee is. <laughs> Take it away. Well, it'll be better. Okay. Take this fishing lure. Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. Go out and find them. Show them your lure and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can. Then come back here and tell us your story again. You can okay. start with that young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him where to start. He's supposed to look for the lures. I show this to other people who have them to start a storytelling session. <sighs> Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. 
I presume you want to tell a story, but I can also tell just by looking at you that you're not ready for the likes of us. Go out and find more chums to advise you. They'll know when you're ready. Okay. Again, fishing on the door stop. Fish can't blink, and I want to keep on knowing that. Well, they look great, but I don't have a wheelbarrow. <laughs> oh, how about that? Hello. Thing. No, it's okay, nothing. Okay. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine. Hey, Guybrush! It's been reduced to rubble. The lamp broke. Possibly an improvement. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. Two, no earthquakes. Otis, 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 what are we gonna do with you? I didn't do anything this time. I was framed. <laughs> Frame it, okay. Where's Stan? Did they let him go? No, Stan got sentenced to hard time. Did you know he was representing himself? I've heard that's unwise. They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. Where did you say Stan is? They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. What did you do to get arrested this time? Nothing! I was just standing there minding my own business, applying for earthquake relief. Did you know you're only allowed to do that once? There is no justice. <laughs> <laughs> Are you worried the rest of the building will cave in? Yes! You think you could spring me again? Ugh, I doubt it. It looks like something happened to the serial number on this lock. I'd like you to tell the museum curator about our jailbreak all those years ago. The one with the mugs of grog. He doesn't seem to have the story quite right. Of course, the truth is important. When I am free again, I will pay him a visit. Well, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Let's visit again soon. Have your people call my people. Sure. It's been reduced to rubble. This key doesn't fit. Let's visit again soon. Have your people call my people. Sure. Let's do that. Thanks. Why do I keep looking at it? Welcome back. Hi. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. Oh, are you in the chums? If I were, would I tell you? Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. My ship was swallowed by a manatee. A really, really big one. I'm not sure what a manatee is. Of course. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story? One time. Swallowed. My ship was swallowed by a whale. My ship was swallowed by a whale. Hmm. But then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Did someone get married or killed or both? People want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Yes. Okay. One time. My ship was swallowed by a whale. And then we escaped through the digestive system, ship and all. I think you've got a lock on it. I can tell it's early in your training. Find some other members of the chums and they'll help you hone your skills. Okay. Okay. Hello again. Would your mother perhaps have been known as old Mrs. Smith? 
Whitey Bones said something about an old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did. Mainly when she was older. Can I get another key made? Sure. Just write down the serial number and get... Hello again. Did your mother find any of those golden keys she was looking for? One. She left it to me in her well. I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. When my mother died, her personal possessions went into probate with the court. When they came out of probate, I was still too devastated to claim them. As you can see from this letter the court sent, they and the key have been destroyed. Well, this is an unexpected wrinkle. What happened to your mother's golden key? As you can see from the letter I gave you, the court destroyed the key. Can't be true. I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Probate Order 1673832, pursuant to Statute E, Section C, Subsection IS. By order of the court, the following unclaimed personal effects have been destroyed. Golden key, fancy box. Looks official. It's got a wax seal of a parrot on it. Game. Hi. Bright boy. See you around, Whitey. Most like. I wonder what they're waiting for. There is even rats. I wonder what they're waiting for. What are y'all waiting for? Earthquake relief. And you'd better not be looking to jump the line. I wouldn't dream of it. Those who cut, get cut. Hey! Thanks, Carla. Good luck. Guybrush. Hi. I want to hear all about the secret, but I've got to go back to Scurvy Island right now. Let's talk later. Okay. Okay. Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. seen the line of people outside? Those are citizens who were affected by the quake. But there isn't any money in the coffers to support the relief effort. I'm oh. basically handing out IOUs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I get in on some of that sweet, sweet disaster relief? I already told you there's no money. I'm handing out IOUs. I'll take what I can get. Fine. It's not real money anyway. I have to list a purpose, so what's it for? <laughs> it needs keel overhaul. <laughs> yeah, my ship suffered some damage. It needs a keel overhaul. Sounds dubious, but I've heard worse. This is just a promise from the town to back your relief project at a later date. Don't get too excited. It's an IOU for funds for a keel overhaul. Cool. Who's manning the lookout if you're here in line? You want to do it? Feel free. Oh. This man's building collapsed. This place looks like an earthquake hit it. There's a torn picture in here. This half shows Stan himself. It's old and the bristles are frayed, but it does resemble a toothbrush. Nope. It says, Tan's previously owned vessels. No, it just says, Tan's previously vessels, not owned. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. This used to be such a bright, cheery place. 
It always looks bigger on this side of the island. Hi there, little guy. Hi there, little guy. Fat rat. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. I think I'll fill up my coat pockets with this bulky firewood. Seems like it might come in handy somewhere, and I'm sure no one will miss it. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. Museum. Oh, there's two parrots now. Two parrots. Security's been beefed up. Or, I should say, parroted up. Tell me about this flag. Oh, it's a super valuable artifact I recently acquired. One of Bella Fisher's original pirate flags. One of only three known to exist. Okay. I see you've made some improvements. Yeah, the museum is now the proud owner of one of Bella Fisher's original pirate flags. There are only three known to exist. It's a real score. Incredibly valuable. Wow, sure hope nobody steals that. I've doubled my security. You can't be too careful. It's locked. Okay. There's tiny writing. New serial numberless lock. Fuck. This key doesn't fit. Rare pirate flag of Bella Fisher. One of only three known to exist. One of Bella Fisher's original pirate flags. Wait, what's this tiny writing on it? Replica not to scale. Oh, nuts. Nuts. Your pirate flag doesn't look quite right. Is it a replica? You have a good eye. You should curate a museum. The real one is too valuable to keep out here. I've got it locked in the storeroom. There's already been an attempted theft. Really? Any chance you'll have the real flag on display anytime soon? Oh, no. Too valuable. It definitely stays in the storeroom. Any chance you'll have the real flag on display? Oh, no. Okay. Let's steal it again. No, don't go. I don't need another fake flag. I don't need another. Yes, you need. I don't need another fake flag. Any chance you'll have the real flag on this? Oh, no. It's locked. Hmm. I skipped school the day they taught lockpicking. What's that thing? Uh, nothing. I've got a story for your newsletter, if you're interested. Let's hear it. One time. My ship was swallowed by a whale. And then we escaped through the digestive system, ship and all. I'll get back to you. <laughs> no, go to inventory. Would you be interested in this for the Pirate Times? My friend wrote it. It's pirate poetry with a sort of a zombie angle. Zombie pirate poems? That sounds really interesting. I'll definitely take a look at it for your friend. That's nice. I. 
You do know I actually am talking about another person, right? Those are not my poems. Sure, if you say so. Would you like this for your newsletter? It's the personal diary of the infamous ghost zombie demon pirate LeChuck. Hey, cool. I mean, there's no way it's the real thing, of course. And only a fool would publish LeChuck's real diary. <laughs> that would get you killed. But I'm sure my readers will love it. I think I can get a six-part series out of it in the fiction section. Thanks a lot. Yay. I'll wait until I'm back on my ship to open it. I'll wait until I'm back on my ship to open okay. it. Okay. Mm, what else I got? No? Let's go back to the stump. It was to a remember it still. Oh. I must have startled them while I was whittling. Some animals are quite skittish. It's probably time for them to fly south. If any clock were the exception to that rule, it would be this one. <laughs> I hear patio dining is all the rage these days. You could think of this as a head start on renovations. Insurance would probably have helped. <laughs> oh, maybe I need... Can I get any more disaster relief IOUs? It's one to a customer. If you want, I can revise the IOU I gave you to apply to a different project, but that's as far as I can go. Yes, please. Okay, what do you want to do? Mele, um, mele, um, amusement park is in terrible shape. <laughs> The jail needs to be reinforced. Well, that's certainly true. Here you go. Let's try this first. No jail was here. Hey, guy, brush. What would you say if I told you the governor authorized funds for repairing the jail? The jail shouldn't be repaired. It should be demolished and a park built in its place. Okay. No? Okay. Come on! Can I revise my disaster relief project? Fine. What is it this time? Um. I want to rebuild local businesses. I'm sure you'll have public support on that one. Maybe that cook then give my cook now the back. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> what would you say if I told you the governor authorized funds for the rebuilding of the scum bar at an unspecified future date? She did? That's fantastic. I'll have a sunken area that catches grog spills for recycling and a medical triage room. Excuse me, lots to plan. Yay. Okay, if I take this cookbook back now? Sure, sure, of course. Not done with my drink. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. My ship was swallowed by a whale. And then we escaped through the digestive system, ship and all. You know, what your story needs is a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? It's okay. Okay. It was my first trip to Monkey Island. The crew were restless. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. And then we escaped through the digestive system, ship and all. Yeah, that's the way. Your story's not bad, but it's missing a few things. Find some other chums to help you fill in the gaps. I'll do that. Okay. So many ideas for the new bar. Spread a little sawdust around the floor to make it classy. More chums. On an errand, back soon. Darn it. Are you chum? Probably won't let so anyway. I don't see a chum's lure anywhere. like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. <laughs> Wait your turn! Nope. I don't see a chum's lure anywhere. a lot it looks like you tried to cook the book instead of the recipe oh well i should be thankful i'm getting it back at all next time you can just put it in the bookshelf yourself okay mm. does not include secret of monkey island oh can i borrow this book Fine, fine. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Thanks a lot. Thanks for returning my book. Ship to ship combat strategies. End of the plank. The blurb says it's a solid if somewhat predictable story. Can I borrow this book? Fine, fine. The blurb says it's a solid if somewhat predictable story about a roguish pirate and a doom. My ship. <laughs> Scurvy Island. Sail to Adrift Ship. 
Ahoy! 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 Permission to come aboard. Afraid we can't let you do that. Permission to come aboard, sir. This isn't a protocol issue. Although we do enjoy a good protocol. Are you going to let me talk? Apparently, that's what you enjoy doing. There's been a deadly scurvy outbreak on the ship. We're under strict <laughs> quarantine, so we don't infect others with this deadly pathogen. I don't think scurvy is contagious. You don't know that. My mom's gardener's second cousin's pastry chef says it is. It's a scientific fact. Oh, don't try to snow us with your science quackery. If scurvy wasn't contagious, then only one person would have it. <laughs> Duh. I really don't think scurvy is contagious. You don't know. Pedal your. Where'd you get that cool flag with all the holes? It looks familiar. We found it floating in the ocean. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags. She probably lost it when her ship went down. We're afraid to take it down and offend the scurvy gods. <sighs> there is no such thing as the scurvy gods. Well, then why is there scurvy? Answer me that! Can I have your flag? Did you not hear me? Scurvy! On board! Quarantine! Well, you could just toss it down to me. Best not to risk it. It's probably crawling with scurvy, trust me. Bye. Don't let the scurvy bite you. Scurvy bites? Oh, I knew this was... <laughs> Don't let the scurvy bite you. It's seen better days. Biohazards are my least favorite hazards. This clever mashup really gets the point across. The messages are a little mixed, but clearly enthusiastic. You're welcome, and thank you! I'm sensing a generally negative attitude directed at visitors. You have the deductive power of a cantaloupe. <laughs> well, it's nice to get a warning. In the name of love. Their ship, their rules. I'm sensing a generally negative attitude directed at visitors. You have the deductive power of a cantaloupe. Hey, Murray. Have you tried scurvy? It would suit you. <laughs> Terror Island. Halt, ship. If, if that's what you can call that. I made it myself. It's a source of pride. This is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Ooh, I left my limes on my other ship. <laughs> Looks like you left a lot more than limes on your other ship. <laughs> Due to an outbreak of scurvy, all ships heading north are required to carry limes. Sounds like a reasonable law. You will have to turn back. Failure to do so will result in fines, incarceration, and or scurvy. <laughs> he doesn't cause us scurvy at all. Eka. You're right. It won't budge. It's strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. If hey, it's time to find the keys. We don't even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. We'll take my ship. I'll stay here to keep an eye on the safe. And steal the secret yourself? I don't think so. Stop it. <sighs> Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost so 